that woman. <laughs> Does Kamala inspire hope? The Dems say nope. Kamala Harris, you remember her, the vice president. She's on the left. She's losing support even among her strongest Democrat backers. It's so bad, George Santos is thinking of divorcing her. <laughs> As the New York Times points out, her allies are tired of waiting for her to define her vice presidency. The New York Times calls it a painful reality that dozens of Dems, including those who helped elect her, don't see her as the future leader of their party, much less the country. Yeesh, you know you're dead in the water when even the Times is against you. That or you're on a date with Ted Kennedy. <laughs> How dare you laugh at... Can't be too soon. I know. Even Hillary Clinton thinks Kamala doesn't have the political instincts to win, and she murders people. <laughs> With acerbic wit <laughs> and a knife made of happiness, which is the name of her gun. <laughs> so I'd listen to her for sure. Where was I? For more on all of this, we've got a surprise special guest. Joining me live from Washington, Vice President Kamala Harris. <laughs> hello, hello, Greg. <laughs> According to the Times, your own advisors have referred reporters to Democrats for quotes praising you, and even they say they've lost hope in you. What do you have to say about that? Well, in order to galvanize mm -hmm. everything that we have already discussed and everything that we've already brought down to America, okay, <laughs> I think we need to understand that everything that we have uncovered and unburdened, <laughs> we will continue to uncover and unburden even more mm -hmm. going further. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Hillary has a history of supporting all liberal women running for office, but now she's saying you're doomed. What are your thoughts? Well, you know, when it comes to Hillary, and, you know, I can make a list and send it to her on her private email, <laughs> but I think she's well aware of everything that we have tried to bring and tried to undo more than what she has done and accomplished as her time as first lady. <laughs> <laughs> Don't James, kill me, Hillary. <laughs> James Clyburn, South Carolina rep, who often backs people of color, was asked if you should still be Biden's running mate, and he said he'll leave that up to Joe. What do you think? Look, I mean, look, we've galvanized a lot <laughs> with electricity. And look at how much we've done with yellow school buses. Okay, <laughs> think about the electric school buses for all the children. And they know that everything that we have unburdened, we will soon burden even further, despite the fact that we have yet to do anything positive for the country and bring it to its knees. <laughs> do you, uh, last question, were you jealous when you saw your husband make out with Dr. Jill at the State of the Union? That was so great. Joe's half dead, let her live. <laughs> <laughs> well. Thank you, Vice President Kamala Harris. You're welcome Thank back you, anytime. Thank you, America. <laughs>